What's up guys? How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing all right. I wanna do a little talk about what's going on because I've been posting a lot on Instagram about this whole loan forgiveness thing and I just figured might as well just do a whole video talking about it because my fingers hurt and I think it's easier to just talk about it. I know we live in a time and day where having an opinion is a crime but over here we're going to have our opinions okay we don't all have to agree but we're going to have our opinions and that's okay. So as a millennial like you come out of school with so much debt it's already discouraging. Like, I remember when I came out of school, it was like 50 something thousand dollars in debt. And I was just like, oh, I'm just, I'm going to live with my parents for the rest of my life. Because there's no way that I could pay, pay this much money back. Like, it's ridiculous. Thank God for my parents. They taught me very well how to manage my money and how to not owe people. Because I hate, I hate people owing people money. Like, I don't like it. I'd rather have $100 in my pocket knowing that I could go to sleep at night without anybody at my door. Like, where's my money? Take your money. Leave me alone. Okay, I like the peace of mind. Anywho, so when I got out of college, my parents took half and I took the other half. Thank God for great parents that actually are able to do that. And I never paid the minimum. What that does is it lower your interest rate because a lot of the loans that you pay are interest. So you're thinking like, yeah, I'm paying 150 every month. They split that 150 amongst that four or five loans. You're not really paying much. And a lot of it is going to interest. So you're not really making a dent on the loan itself. So I always try to pay more than they ask for. That's how I pay my off and also during the pandemic when people were getting the stimmies i used them stimmy money to pay off my loan i used that bonuses to pay off my loan because i'm just my plan was for my 30th birthday a gift to myself was to finish paying off my loan period like i didn't want to go and um, go through my 30s with loans still because i remember the beginning of the year i did like goals and things i wanted to accomplish and do for the year one thing i wrote down that i did not consciously right my it's like my hand moved without me thinking and it was pay off all my loan in six months and now when i wrote it, i, I jump back like girl what the hell you talking about pay off your own six months we, six months i make no no it was pay off my loan this year i just i don't know about this year it's not going to happen but and i was going to scratch it up but i felt like the holy spirit told me no leave it alone i was just like According to this job, and I work for a nonprofit. Nonprofit don't pay a dang on thing. I tell you that right now. I'm not even going to tell you my salary that I was making. I did it for the love of the people. I, people I work with people with autism, and I just love my guys, and I just loved what I do. But it paid nothing, okay? But anyways, I left it there. Long story short, COVID hit. Everything happened. I don't know where all this money came from. But between the stimmies, saving within six months, forget the year that I even wrote. God really showed up within six months. My loans were paid off in June. My birthday was July. Was in is in July. And I was just like, no, God, you funny. Literally, that birthday gift I wanted, I got from him. He did some heavenly math. Because the earthly math was that math. Him, but that heavenly math, it worked out some way where I was able to pay off this loan. So that was that's my story of how I pay off my loans, okay? What I got irritated with is the fact that people are complaining. Just last week, you didn't have $10,000. This week, if you do, thank God. Not too long ago, you had nothing. You had zero. You have some people that, like me, I sacrificed when... I wanted to, like that year, I wanted to go go on vacations. I wanted to go to Ghana, Morocco. I wanted to buy certain things, but I made that sack. I said, you ain't buying a dang one thing, you ain't going nowhere. And so did other, many other people. But black people, honestly, I understand the whole thing of like, yes, the white people have less, whatever the case may I get it. But if we are looking for America to pay us back for everything that they did or they owe us, we are never going to get it because there's no amount of money or assistance from the government that will ever pay back all the lives that were lost slavery the blood that's still shed on this land okay they're never going to pay that back you cannot pay that back period there's no amounts of money that will ever pay us back for everything that we've been through and still go through on this land it's just not going to happen so if that's what you're looking for you're never going to get that satisfaction i say take that ten thousand, pay off your loan give yourself a a, a a plan of how many years you're going to take to pay it off and pay it off because that's why i'm gonna look i gave myself a 10 year plan to pay off my loan i did it eight years thank god but give yourself a plan give yourself a date give yourself a time limit be like all right around this time i want to be done with my loan and make it happen and if you can't go out to eat with your friends every saturday well so be it i'll see y'all facetime me when y'all get there or y'all can come to my house or we can meet at somebody else's house we could cook and chill there you, you need to prioritize okay and now in certain states college is also free like new york bachelor's is free so if you know you don't have the funds to go to to get the college experience in a hbcu or whatever stay in your city and go to a local college, okay? But a lot of us go away for college, 
because you want the college experience. Well, baby, that come with a cost. Don't go clubbing for free and then be complaining when the bill comes. You want the experience? You're going to pay for the experience, okay? Back in Ghana, that's where I'm from. I'm going to speak for Ghana alone. I'm not going to speak for all of Africa. I'm going to show most, all, most African countries is the same thing, but I'm going to speak on Ghana alone. Back in Ghana, you pay from school for school from the beginning to the end, from childhood to adulthood, from kindergarten to freaking college, okay, and post-grad. You're paying for the school. So if your family don't have the funds to pay for your schooling, guess what, baby? You're not going to school. That's when you see all these people, all these kids in different countries, all these so poor, they're not educated. Yeah, they don't, they don't have, they can't go to school because they don't have money. Like people sponsor kids to go to school. Like my parents have sponsored many kids to go to school because we know that if their family don't have the money, these kids are not going to school. It ain't no free ride like we have here until college or at, even after college, there's no free ride. And then the government is not set up <laughs> to give them financial assistance for them to go to school. If there's not a good Samaritan, somebody that God has just touched your heart to bless you, you're not going anywhere. We started wrong from the beginning. I think across the world, education should be free. If your people are smart, if your people are well, well educated, it is beneficial for your nation. We are very blessed in America where school is free. I think, Parents should be doing a better job saving for college from for their kids. Because if you're not paying for school from when they are children, damn your babies, to all the way in their teens, the fact that you have no money saved up, at least a couple of thousands to help them with their school fees, is crazy to me. Because you literally have not paid for anything until college. Why is your child struggling to make ends meet or pay for books when you had... 18 years to freaking save up. That's bad parenting, in my opinion. Now, I'm not trying to compare everybody's parents to my parents, but my parents definitely have money stacked, okay? If it's a single parent home, dog, I get it. I, I Trust me, I get it. I've seen it. It is difficult. But once again, if you know that that is the situation, you just might have to do a community college. Or if you don't do a community college, work when you're in school. I did that for a little bit. I didn't have to. I wanted to. If you want to do that, work while you're in school. It's going to be a little difficult. You might lose a, lose some freedom, you know, but help yourself out. You know what I'm saying? So if you could work and can use the money you use, you use the money that you gain from working, use that to pay your books. Don't take out more loans. Cut corners when you can't, you know? So single family home, yes, it's more difficult, but you have to help yourself because these people ain't going to help you, okay? Well, another point I want to make is you have people who legitimately make enough money to pay, pay back your loans. They just choose not to. Because even it's biblical, if you owe somebody, owe somebody money, pay them back, okay? I knew somebody who was a whole lawyer, is a whole lawyer, a whole lawyer, making six figures, had $200,000 on loan. Granted, that's a lot. That is that is ridiculous. And she blatantly said, I'm not paying that back. Some people complain about their $10,000 not being enough. These same people, I have a... A strong feeling they may get that ten thousand dollars use that ten top thousand dollars to pay it off and still not pay off the rest of their loans so let's say fifteen thousand dollars left they still probably not even pay that off so all the interest probably gonna accumulate and they're going back to square one if you know you deep in your heart you already made up your mind that you're not going to pay this thing off why are you complaining and granted i would say that people not everybody have support i was blessed enough to have parents that gave me support that took half of my loan that signed up on certain things so I didn't have to pay off that whole 50 something, you know, thank God for that. Not everybody have that. I get that. Some people are in really rough situations where it's just like with the expenses and things I have to pay for daily to live, I could only get $50. I, I get it. I'm not even talking about y'all. If y'all loans could be cleared off for good, that would be a blessing. That would be amazing. I'll, I'll want that for you. It's not like I stand on one point like, oh yeah, I should, no. I have many opinions about this. Like there's a lot of broken pieces. And this whole thing that in, that needs to be fixed. But my thing is, be grateful for that ten thousand dollars you're getting. Put it to good use. Make a plan and pay it off. So you don't have to depend on anybody for anything. Remember, whenever you start to complain, just remember there are other people in other countries who can't even go to school. Over here, it's illegal to not have your kid in school. <laughs> in America, your kid don't come to school. They miss a certain amount of days. It's called education neglect. We don't have that in other countries. It ain't no neglect. They ain't got it. Just whenever you start to complain. Whenever you start to why we not just remember you you're very entitled and you're very spoiled because other people don't have what you have. Steward your money right, <laughs> save, prioritize, live within your means. Hell, you have rich people that live below their means. Forget within, they live below it. 
Live within your means. You don't owe nobody anything, any explanation. You ain't gotta keep up with the Joneses. Who who is the Joneses? And why you try to keep up with them? And if people complain calling you cheap, so what? Listen, people don't call me cheap so many times. I ain't got no school loans though, or debt. My credit, my credit, we good. I ain't got no problem. You're not here to impress people. Do what's best for you, okay? So, that's what I have to say. Let me know what you think. I would love to have a conversation about this. Give me your thoughts and yeah. You guys enjoy. Bye.